One of the acquisitions we made earlier in the year was Minecraft. And we, Minecraft is a community game. Um, lots of people like to work on it, mod on it. Uh, it's a place we get a lot of feedback to not change the modding side of it, to not change the community. So what we wanted to do was actually contribute to the community. So what we want to do today is announce the availability of a modding toolkit for Visual Studio. Um, I, I'm going to pass on this slide and come back to it since I paused along. Um, and so I want to invite um, Aiden Brady. It's a junior out of Atlanta. He's actually one of the top modders uh, in the U.S. And Brianna Roberts from our team, they're much better equipped to talk about this and demonstrate it than we are. So I'm going to have them come on out. And why don't you guys show us what's going on with Visual Studio. Hi, everyone. My name is Brianna Roberts. I'm thrilled to be here today. I'm a senior content developer in Microsoft Learning Experiences academic team. We sit within the developer experiences organization led by Googs. So why am I here today? Well, I happen to think I have the best job. I get to create awesome content to get students excited about computer science and computer programming. You may be asking yourself, What's hot with kids these days? And the answer is Minecraft. It is one of the newest ways to engage students and teach them about coding using mods like the ones we're going to demo today. Minecraft is an awesome education tool. It's being used in f over 5,000 schools, libraries, and after-school programs. All right, without further ado, I want to introduce Aiden Brady. He's a high school student out of Atlanta, Georgia. And let me just throw this out there, but he's a big deal in the Minecraft modding community. His very first mod mechanism has taken off. It's huge. So Aiden, will you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your love for Minecraft? Sure. My name is Aiden Brady. I'm 17 years old and a junior in high school. I started programming in Python when I was 10, but moved on to Java when I was 12, which I've kind of focused on ever since. A friend introduced me to Minecraft in 2011, and it was kind of the perfect fit for me because I already knew the language and I just loved the creative potential that the game had. I hope to later on get a computer engineering degree and maybe an MBA too to do what I love, which is kind of maybe to work for a company as awesome as Microsoft. <laughs> You're well on your way. Well, I don't know if everyone in the audience has played Minecraft. We have, maybe their kids have. Can you tell them what a mod is? Sure. A Minecraft mod is basically an extension of the Minecraft game. It can add new content, and if you're familiar with the game, it's things like new blocks, new items, but in our case, we're just going to focus on one new block, which is kind of exciting. <laughs> As Googs mentioned, M Microsoft recently acquired Minecraft, and we're so excited about it, and we really committed to continuing this vibrant community of, of gamers that we have out there. So what we're going to do today is show off some Minecraft modding using Java in Visual Studio. Yes, and this tool is fantastic. I recently switched from using Eclipse as my primary modding development tool, and honestly, it's the perfect transition. It's easy, it's intuitive, I, I love it. I mean, I feel right at home. And right here you can see on the new project dialog, we have a few little templates here, and I love this. These are Minecraft Forge mod templates, so by clicking this right here, we're able to make a new Minecraft mod just like that and get started. And there's also one that's near and dear to my heart right here, which is the mechanism mod sample. So you can mess around with what I've done. This is awesome for all these uh, Java developers that they can just both play and change the game that, they're, that they love all within our IDE. Now, um, if you're familiar with Visual Studio, then you're familiar with IntelliSense. We are going to show off some of the key features of IntelliSense that really bring this modding to life for these developers. I want to make sure I throw it out there that this is not a replacement for Eclipse. This is an add-in that's been built so students just like Aiden who want to build and create can do so in Visual Studio. We're going to get into the code just a little bit. You've seen this with other languages, now you'll see it with Java. So as I hover over a keyword, I get the quick info, which displays the complete declaration of the code that I'm looking at. Now, as I type a word, and I'll type that period, a valid list of members appears. All I have to do is hit tab. It'll add that selected line into my code. Aiden, do you want to tell us about parameters? Sure. Parameter info here gives you information about the name, number, and types of parameters required by a method. And in this case, you can see we have a parameter listed in bold. This is the next parameter required by the series of parameters of this method. And it's fantastic for new developers. I mean, I wish I had this when I got started because... Yeah, yeah. I can't even imagine learning to program with this kind of help. This is awesome. All right, but on that note, I say enough coding and let's play something here. Okay, so what do we have now? All right, now this is a little project that I've been working on. Um, if we open this up here, you see we're going to run this directly through Visual Studio. And mm -hmm. 
as this is loading, I just want to say, when you think about Minecraft, you think about the game, you know, like I already mentioned, the creative potential that it has. And that's why I got into the game in the first place, you know. You're open in this world, and you can do whatever you want, build whatever you want. It's so cool. But, okay, getting in here, I'll open up our little test world. And in here, I'm going to open up my inventory, and you see the normal Minecraft TNT block right here. Sure. But we have a fancy TNT block here that's going to do a little bit more damage than what you might be used to. So All right. Here, I'll place a few of these down. It's perfect because I happen to have this uh, trigger over here. So I think it's going to help us with this explosion. <laughs> it's a little smaller than when I ordered it online. Okay, I'm going to hold this. All right. You ready? ready? Go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this extension is available now. Make sure you go check it out. We cannot wait to see what you build with it. Thank you so much. What Thank do you guys you. think? Did they do a great job? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. We got to get him back to school. I think he's, he's uh, missed two days of school because of us, so we want to make sure we do a good job.